Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about Jupiter in the 11th house and natal chart. Uh, now, some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube astrology channel, I did a series on the uh, Jupiter placements in the houses. They were a little bit concise. Some people may prefer it as a snappy, so what I decided to do was make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. Uh, so anyway, first thing, well, Jupiter in the 11th house can be comparable uh, to Jupiter in Aquarius, but naturally you've got to blend in the zodiac sign Jupiter um, in Aquarius in the 11th house can be different than, say, Jupiter in Leo in the 11th house. Now, Jupiter in astrology has a connection with in-laws, so in-laws may be... Um, may figure prominently in your goals, your aspirations, uh, to your future, when you're moving forward with something. Uh, they may be altruistic, selfless people, or you may at least perceive them as such. Uh, they may figure you know, prominently in uh, groups, clubs, organizations you may be involved in. And also, um, they might be seen as um, eccentric, um, ingenious, even unorthodox. Um, considered unobtrusive. Uh, they may be people, you know, that may be in an 11th house um, professional fields such as computers or electronics, innovation, astrology, astronomy, uh, meteorology, aviation, as some examples. And they may be, um, you know, the in laws may also figure, you know, uh, play an integral role in some cases in money that you may make from a career or business. Now, uh, Jupiter is also uh, connected uh, with our exuberance and enthusiasm. So when you have Jupiter posited in the 11th house in the natal chart, a lot of that um, exuberance and enthusiasm you may have may go into, um, it could be matters with computers, the internet, um, social media, social networking, um, electronics, um, astrology, astronomy. And just a group and um, you know a club or um, endeavors in general, group-related matters, doing things that may be um, you know for the good of humanity, that are uh, that are for the betterment of many. It could be uh, you know, doing things you know with the environment, and also just the general pursuit of uh, goals, aspirations, and objectives. This is where you may express uh, a lot of enthusiasm, and exuberance for. Now, and your friends in general. Now, um, Jupiter in astrology is also uh, associated with our philosophies and beliefs. So, when Jupiter is positive in the 11th house in the natal chart, well, the um, you know beliefs and philosophies you know, may be tied in, uh, you know, to one's um, you know being goal oriented, um, attaining one's aspirations and objectives, you know, being progressive, futuristic. Oh, about moving forward, you know, not uh, dwelling or lamenting on, you know, the past, um, and just being altruistic, and doing things, you know, that are for good of many, you know, for humanity, you know, things that are environmental. Um, it could also be, you know, changed in, you know, your philosophy. There may be some belief or philosophy that may be impacted. You know, by the death of the less dominant parent, which is often uh, the mother. Keep in mind, this is eight houses uh, from the fourth house, so this can reflect the death of the, uh, the less dominant parent. And also, too, Jupiter in astrology is connected uh, with luck and fortune. So, when you have Jupiter posited in the eleventh house in your natal chart, well, you may feel, you know, be more lucky actually. You know when you're you know, when you're doing things with social networking or you know, the internet, social media, you're doing things associated with computers. You know you could be that person that you know helps troubleshoot you know someone's computer, and they might you might wind up getting some kind of job out of it or something. And this is also um, you may feel lucky you know matters pertaining you know to friends, groups, clubs, organizations. Um, when you express altruism, selflessness, consideration for others, 
um, in general. And you're doing things more for the, the betterment of the group, and you're not, you know, seeking, you know, to do things just to stand out or be prominent or get some kind of accolades or recognition. This is when you may be more lucky, you know, compared to the uh, average person. Jupiter in astrology is also associated with prosperity and affluence. So when you have Jupiter posited in the 11th house in a natal chart, well, there may be prosperity, could be an innovation, aviation, meteorology, computers, electronics, astrology, astronomy. It may be in matters um, associated with stepchildren, if applicable. Um, this could be an auspicious placement for money that is generated from a business because the 11th house is connected with that. And Jupiter, again, is prosperity and affluence. And also, um, you know, just being innovative, um, it could be, you know, by um, prosperity, maybe made in group related, you know, endeavors and activities, some involvement with an organization or club. Um, it can be, you know, just, um, you know, by being willing to move forward, not look back. Um, you know, going, you know, going after your future and doing things that are, that are connected with it. This is where um, can be things can be very prosperous for you. Now, higher education is connected with Jupiter, so you know, it could be where you, know, you may take you know, some higher education college course that's 11th house related whether it would be something with computers or electronics or astronomy even rocket science in some cases um, astrology um, you know, doing something you know, environmental it could also be um, you know, where you may be you know always you know moving ahead as far as higher education goes it may figure more prominently in your future than the average person uh, it could be where um, you know, higher education may be a place where you meet um, a number of friends. Uh, it could be where you're more involved in some kind of group club or organization during this time, more so than most people. And, uh, you know, the thing about this too is, and, you know, your higher education, you know, may also, I mean, it could have some kind of in, more of an impact on your connection with friends and acquaintances more so than uh, most people. Now another thing about Jupiter and astrology, it's associated with um, expanding horizons, abstract thinking, going outside the box, so to speak. So when Jupiter is posited in the 11th house in the natal chart, you know, it could be where um, you, know, you may um, be apt to expand your horizons in matters with groups, clubs, organizations, you know, through the internet, social media, social networking. It may be by doing something more 11th house related, whether it be something with computers, electronics, astrology, astronomy, um, doing something with aviation or meteorology, being ingenious and inventive, um, innovative. These are way, things that you may you know, decide where, you know, this is where you feel comfortable in expanding on um, your horizons. And also to, um, you know, this placement, well, well first I want to get to you know, Jupiter and astrology. And I've stated this before and I'll say it again that Jupiter, you know, though it's very strongly benign and benevolent, it could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand. It can be very paradoxical. So when you have um, Jupiter is a, can uh, enlarge and expand things. So when Jupiter is in the eleventh house in the chart, well, it may enlarge and expand. You know, um, it could be physical issues with the shins, the calves, the ankles, the nerves, the circulation. Keep in mind the eleventh house does correspond with Aquarius. It could be matters that are unusual, unpredictable, you know, unexpected. But at the same time, um, it could also enlarge and expand money that may be generated from a career or business. You know, matters with you know innovation, or you know, just could be general activities in groups, clubs, or um, organizations. Now, another thing is that you know Jupiter, you know, is connected with sports, publishing, 
you know, advertising, religion, uh, philosophy, foreign travel. So these things may be tied in uh, to your goals and um, aspirations. And it may be where, since the eleventh house is friends, you know, Jupiter placed here can indicate, you know, a lot of you know optimism in these matters and being, uh, you know, having friends. That are very, you know, jocular and jovial, comical, maybe enamored with humor. You may really enjoy joking with them more so than most people on average. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Rudd saying, stay well.